Kenya just in the recent couple of days has expressed its displeasure on Somalia's action to include an area of dispute with Kenya as part of its own during the licensing round that took place in London on 7 February 2019. In the period between 2014 to 2015, offshore seismic data was acquired covering both shallow and deep water of the southern ocean of Somalia by Somalia Oil and Gas. The latest inspection was conducted by Spectrum UK. The company has been conducting a multi-client survey in the southern Indian Ocean offshore in Somalia. Offshore Somalia is divided into three basins, mainly the Abia Basin in the north, Kariol Basin and the Jubalama Basin. These areas in offshore Somalia indicate a huge exploration prospect with huge hydrocarbon potential. Spectrum Oil Company took part in the organization of the licensing round in London, where 50 blocks covering a total area of 173,000 km square were unveiled. The area in dispute with Somalia is about 100,000 square kilometers, warranting Kenya to send official diplomatic protest letters to the government of Somalia. The offshore is considered most prospective areas in deep to ultra deep water areas. Technology has made the deep and ultra deep water areas technologically feasible for exploration and production and the federal government of Somalia has divided up the entire country onshore and offshore. The licensing round was to help Somalia with the exploration activity. Licensing gives the exclusive right to oil companies to search and drill for, and obtain petroleum in the area covered by the license. However, also the license does not mean any form of approval for activities to take place in the blocks, and does offer any exemption from other legal or regulatory requirements. Licensing can run for three successive periods or terms and each license expires automatically at the end of each term, unless the license has made much progress to earn the chance to move into the next term. The initial term or the first round of licensing usually lasts about four years if the agreed licensee has made enough progress to earn the chance to move into the next term. Most definitely if they have hit 50% of exploration of the acreage they have been licensed for. After this, the licensee can now be given a third term of 18 years after submitting a development plan that has been approved. Even though the Federal Ministry of Petroleum still has the power to determine different term lengths if there is need to. During licensing rounds, oil companies usually submit their work plans with details of work programs they propose in the first term to further the understanding or the exploration of the blocks in question.